Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Space. Today in this video session, we will discuss about how to create a RSS feed in SP.NET Core. So let's start. We open our Visual Studio. Here I already created a one blank project for SP.NET Core with a MVC framework. So first of all, uh, need to run one new get package for creating a RSS feed so I am opening this package console package manager console and uh, run this command it's a syndication NuGet package manager for creating a RSS feed and now this opening a package manager console here uh, I am pasting that command for installing a syndication package for creating a RSS feed. Press enter. Now this uh, installing a service model for a syndication. It's taking little bit time to install. Now this uh, installed successfully. So in next step, I am opening this uh, home controller.cs and here uh, we adding a one more uh, action method for uh, display the RSS feed XML. So I am adding one more view for this. This is the by default generated views that uh, that is creating when we choose a MVC template like here I am uh, rewrite this as a RSS and we need to add one more namespace for that new get package is a system dot service model dot syndication and this method decorate as a http get so uh, firstly uh, i am adding a feed for this it's a uh, feed is equal to new uh, new syndication speed new syndication syndication feed and then here we providing a title here it's a title then it's a description and then we provide a alternate link like a for testing I'm adding a my blog URL it's a uh, www.widegeeks.com and we convert this into a URL it's uh, like a new URI I'm adding HTTP also here. It's HTTP www.whitekicks.com and then here we providing a syndication items. It's like a RSS URL 
and then here we uh, providing a updated time like I'm adding here is a date time dot now then we can provide a copyright so copyright is equal to new text syndication content that's a dollar dollar date time dot now dot year and then any text like a white gigs then uh, for a demo purpose uh, I am adding a hard coded URL here uh, you can you can iterate uh, this uh, items from your uh, database tables like uh, I am adding this where item where items is equal to new list syndication item then items dot add new syndication item so firstly I'm adding I am adding here a title so title is anything like a uh, I am adding here a first article then after this uh, adding a description on description one is showing error because of this uh, carry bracket here is a small bracket uh, this is the title and this for a content and then we provide a, a url like a, this uh, this is a post url so i'm writing like this any demo url slash uh, post slash one this url for our testing purpose uh, you can bind these all items from your uh, database tables and then this is the post id this using for a permanent link like a uh, m adding its one and then is the updated time so i'm adding this date time dot now so for testing i'm adding this uh, items for four times it's a uh, one two three four four two this for three four two three four two three and four now we set this items into feed dot uh, items is equal to this uh, item then we set like a uh, where's settings is equal to new xml writer setting 
new XML XML writer settings I think I need to add a namespace for this and so I'm pressing a control dot it's uh, using system dot XML here it's uh, encoding encoding as a encoding encoding dot utf add it's uh, encoding uh, need to also add a missing control dot it's a system dot text dot it's a utf add I'm using a UTF add here and then it's a new new line heading new line handling is equal to new line handling dot entities and a new line on attributes is equal to true and then indent is also true now we write that uh, stream in a file and then return as a xml so it's a uh, using using where stream is equal to new memory stream new memory stream need to also name is paste for this is uh, using system dot io then it's using where xml writer is equal to xml xml writer dot xml writer dot create here we pass a stream and then it's a settings that we created here where rss formatter new rs rss uh, 20 feet per meter then here passing a feed and it's a serialized ex extension as item as a pulse and it's a rss formatter dot uh, right to it's a xml writer and then we press this xml writer dot plus then after this we return this return as a file so return file as is a stream stream dot to array and then uh, we provide a content type here it's a application slash 
आर एस एस प्लस एक्स मिल एंड देन इट्स कैर सेट इजल टू यू टी एफ हाइपन एट सो नो नीट टू दिस फॉर रिटर्निंग बिकॉज दिस ऑलरेडी रिटर्न एज अ फाइल so now this completed so for debugging i am pressing a control f5 for debugging this application so by default it's calling a home index uh, but we created a rss inside this it's a home home slash rss so this uh, creating a rss xml to this action method it's a title here and this for a url this descriptions this for a copyright and this for last build date and this is the all the articles list this is the permanent links this links titles and description so this is the process for how to uh, create a rss uh, into sp.net code so if you have any questions any problems please write in comment box i will reply you soon and if you like my videos please click on subscribe button and notification bell for latest updates so thanks thanks we will meet in next video session